So this is something I've been meaning to do for a long time and actually try something different for a change as opposed to just constantly uh, put up draft league content every week and actually like do some showdown stuff. So I decided just for the hell of it to try out almost any ability because it looked like a fun meta game and I just slapped this team together because I really wanted to try out Specs, um, Thunderous Darien. So I'm Specs with Aerial 8. And then everything else on this team, from what I can tell, is pretty standard for the most part. So Desolate Land, Cinderace, Scrappy, Rocky Helmet. Well, it's not really hel um, standard, it's not really Helmet Tusk, but um, I have Helmet on here. Uh, SD3 attacks, Earth Eater, King Gambit, Spadef, Regenerator, AV, Manaphy, and Fist Death, Will Big Body, No Item, Petra Run for Cerule Edge. Um, my opponent has a very scary team. Um, he does not have a full switch immunity unless that's, I believe, Volt Absorb Corviknight. I'll still leave it off with Thunderous. It seems to seem like the safest thing here, as he is going to lead off with Meow Scarada. I am going to immediately go with the Petra Hunt on the Triple Axle. Don't really care for that at all. And now I'm just going to Parting Shot out. And he goes into the Sui and Gudra. And from here, I can just go. Hmm. I kind of want to go into Great Tusk. So, yeah. We'll go Tusk as he is going to. The Corviknight should definitely come out here. Because this, this is definitely like a regen one. So Corviknight should come out here. I'm actually going to double into Thunderous on the Corviknight. Yep, there we go. Uh, and now I get a free Volt Switch. Like I said, unless this is Volt Absorb, this is a very good month. So I get more momentum. This is definitely AV. Does nothing. Um, I can also just go Manaphy and knock off its Assault Fest too. Because if I go back into Tusk, I'm not really getting anything out of the turn. So yeah, let's make the Manaphy play. I'm going to just try to knock off its Assault Vest. If he goes into Corviknight to knock off... Okay, good. So, AV's knocked off. I don't care about this. He knocks off my own Assault Vest as well. Which is not the end of the world, but... It's still kind of annoying. Um, let's see. How do I want to win this? Um, it basically just comes down to whether or not I can deal with Weakening Corviknight. Which is... I have Pyro Ball Cinderace and Fundy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't really do well switching into this thing. Like, I have King Gambit, but I kind of want to keep it. Uh, do I? Yeah, I think I go King Gambit, though. Like, I don't really have any other play, so he's gonna knock on my leftovers. I'm okay with that. Um, and then from here, he should just go in the Corviknight. But I want it's it should be helmet though for the most part. Like, like I could just make the double again into thunderous. Yeah, like I should have made the double into thunderous again. Um, that did way too little to be volt absorb. So I'm thinking this is maybe this is probably fur coat. Cause I did so little. Like 13% is very very little for um for um standard even though I'm not a f even though I'm not boosted. Um, I'll still make the Petra run play. I think he's just going to U-turn out. I imagine Miascarada or Tinkaton's going to come out here. Um, what Tinkaton want to do here is the question. I honestly don't know what Tinkaton runs in this meta game. Uh, I don't want to lose Petrarunt though, because it helps me versus Meow Um, hmm. Uh, I can also just go directly into Thunderous. But the worst thing that happens is my item gets knocked off, right? Eh, I could still make that play. I'm trying to be a, a bit more aggressive. Okay, so let's just go for Stealth Rock. I'm okay with that. I also could have gone Hard Cinderace too, but I didn't want my boots getting knocked off. So, I'll Volt. 
That's just the Gucci was gonna come back out. Uh nah. I'll go Cinderace this time. Cause unless that's well big body No, it can't be I feel like you're not well big body Corviknight. Because that Kowtow did so little. I feel like it's fluffy. I really feel like it's fluffy. I'll be damned. I'm still gonna chance it. So zap those. Okay. I can respect that. Um, now let me just go with Manaphy on the just in case it's scarf. Okay, Raw Thundered. And then we just go back into Cinderace. It's a hurricane in, in the sun. That's insane. But in any case, we power a ball here always. And then we will... Okay, he's gonna pivot into mana. He's gonna pivot back into Zapdos here for sure. I can also just core change, but I don't think that's the play right now. Yeah, exactly. And then from here, we go into. I'll go back into Thunderous. And I'll make the same play again. So if he goes into Gudra, I go back into Cinderace and just rinse and repeat. Like the, the main downside to me doing all this is like the Petra, or the Petra, the um, the Gudra is basically getting back to full HP. So I need to find a situation where I can get in my um, my Cinderace again. But the fact that Zapdos switch means that it's not um. It's not scarf, it's just boots. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice, good sir. Back into Thunderous, but this brings back in Gudra. I need to find a way to get rid of I need to find a way to get rid of rocks. Like it's actually really annoying that I wish I, I wish I had focus blast right now on this um on this goo trip, but I don't. Yeah, it's gotta go back into Manaphy. As that didn't even kill. Cool. So we'll double into King Gambit. Uh, to double my opponent's part, going to tank a ton. I guess he expected me to go into. Uh, what's it called? I guess he expected this, but like, what does Tinkaton do here? I honestly have no idea whatsoever. I'm just gonna go back into Petron. Cause I literally don't know what this thing wants to do. He's just gonna play rough. Uh, I'll try to recover as he Tinkaton hammers. And then I'll attempt the parting shot. Okay, so it is Thunder Wave, which is fine because this gives me slow momentum. Um, let me actually just try to spin away these hazards. That is actually like really, really annoying. Back in the Petra on the U-turn, he goes zap. He goes back in the tank time. I honestly don't know. Okay, so we're just getting up rocks again. I don't care for the most part. Like, the main problem right now is that Zap does. Like, how do I get rid of Zap is the better question. Alright, at least I know it's full set now. It's the end of the world if I get knocked. No.
Okay. So, like, I keep bringing in the core. I keep getting Cinderace right, but the problem is, like, there's literally the, um, the Zapdos that comes in every single time, bro. Like, there's no way you risk. There's no way you chance this. Exactly. So, now I'm forcing him to remove his hazard, his, um, Stealth Rock with Corviknight. Uh, and I don't have a switch in anymore to this thing. So, I think, unfortunately, I have to sack. Yeah, man, if he's a sack here. It doesn't have its AV, it doesn't do anything else in this game. As he goes for U turn. I mean, I'm okay with this. Like, I'm sacking this off anyway. So you go for your Gigaton hammering, knock me out. But I did bring in my Cinderace. Seventy-seven. Damn. Like it's just like a lot of pivoting and whatnot, but I'm not really getting anywhere right now. It'd be a lot easier if I was able to get rid of things, um, heavy duty boots, but alas, that's not the, I'm not really in a position where I can actually do that right now. So, yeah, it really haven't really been in a situation where <sighs> this is really annoying. Like, I need to find myself, I need to get myself into a position where I can bring in King Gambit, but I can't really do that here. Like, this is, this is just like a, it's just a literal perpetual motion where I'm just constantly bringing in Cinderace over and over and over again, and I'm not really making any I'm not making any progress right now Well, I'm, I'm making progress on the zap though, so it's not like it's that Like I mean he can't stop the turn combination is basically what I'm getting at and I'm weakening the zap those like at some point my opponent is just going to stay in with Gudra and it's gonna it's gonna screw me over. Like he could he can literally stay in right here. Well if he does that I sack off Petron, right? Yeah. But no, he's not doing that. Like, you, you see the, the conundrum I'm in right now. Like, the problem is not the Gudra. The problem is not the Gudra anymore. The problem is this. Like, this becomes a lot easier when the... Okay, he got tired of this. <laughs> the only way this backfires is if this is Prankster. I also could have gone to Tusk there. No, he just wants up rocks again. Exactly. <laughs> no, you are not getting rocks up again. Yeah, uh, and I always sack Petra on here. Okay, he, he figured out the, the problem with... He figured out the situation. Actually, that's just malignant, but he's just going to... I'm just sacking this off anyway. As I unfortunately get full parrot there. I think I can do about that. Alright, so we get back in Cinderace and we click Power Ball again. Like, the best case scenario is he. Uh. Oh, thank god! <laughs> That was literally the best, the like literal best case scenario right there. 
and it's Supreme Overlord. Oh no. Oh, ooh, crap baskets. All right, I gotta sack Tusk now. Oh, that's so annoying. That's really annoying that he's this set. Does he even have to switch? I don't even know if this thing gets Aura Sphere or not. <laughs> Man. Cause like he's gonna go Corviknight here, right? I feel like that has to be the play. If I lose King Gam, I auto lose to, to Deoxys. I think if anything, I go Thunderous first. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was really hoping he wouldn't stay in. Like, if he stayed in, he automatically won there. Like, legitimately, he auto won if he stayed in. I need King Gambit for for Sucker Punch. Oh, man, what a first game this has been, man. Alright, man, Cinderace is just putting in so much work. So, but so much overtime right now. Ah, oh, I spoke too soon. Ah, uh, and now I auto lose now. Shoot. I, 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 I gassed up. I gassed it up too much. That's what I get. I don't have a choice now. I have to SD. Missing that Pyro Ball sucks. Yeah, I, I, I always see myself winning now because he just stays in. Wait. There's a chance. Wait, did he did he throw? Oh my god, he threw! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why didn't he just go Corviknight? I guess he didn't go Corvin because it didn't have body press. I was not expecting that game to end the way it did after I, after I missed that power bowl. That is insane, bro. Absolutely insane that I was able to get that win. <laughs> I thought for sure I wasn't going after that power bowl miss. I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to get that dub. But here we are. Um, another nasty team by my opponent. Um, so let's see. I don't know what the Clefable does. Um. This will also be a situation where I lead up with Thunderous again. If he leads up with Tusk, I, I Grass Knot for sure. Because I'm pretty sure that no one runs Grass Knot Thunderous Theory in, in this in this metagame. Nope, it's just Meowskarada lead. Alright, that's fine. We have a Petra Hunt. Doubles into... Oh. Tablet of Ruin. Okay. Um. Well, you don't have a switch in the... Oh, your Malignant Chain switch in is Manaphy. So let us. Tablet of Ruin weakens attack. Alright. A parting shot. I don't think you stay in. Okay. We go Manaphy. Stealth Rock. No, he just knocks off the AV. Alright, fine. I didn't think that would be the play. Thunder wave. Okay. I'm now slower than you, so that's good. I get slower momentum. Um, if I can get off the momentum, that is. Uh, okay. Sure. No guard zap cannon. At least I know it's not Primordial C. It could be Primordial C Manaphy then, but I don't think it would be. Yeah, that sucks really, really badly that that was the case. I'm still gonna go into Cinderace and click Power Ball. Primordial C, nope. But it's Fist Def. Good to know. And I lost my own mana switching. 
That is fantastic. Can't even go hard into... Oh, wait. What am I doing? I just stay in. I forgot. Desolate Land protects me from water moves. Maybe knock off my boots. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Oh, core change now. I don't want to get Thunder Wave, so... You turn into Thunderous. Nah. And we fire off Terra Blast. Alright, knocking off my specs is in the end of the world. I'm pretty sure it's, uh, I'm pretty sure Zapdos still gets to a KO. Okay, but we got rid of the Clefable, so that's nice. Meowskarada comes back out. We have Petrarun still. We don't have to deal with rocks right now. Triple Axle, perfectly fine with that. Only got one hit. And then from here, we... Damn. I can party shot or I can malignant. I think the place... I can malignant once on the Manaphy. I'd rather just do that. Hopefully get the Toxic. And we do. Beautiful. Unfortunately, this is my my Manaphy response. Um, I'll still parting shot though. He's flip turn. All right, and he's faster, so I get momentum. Unfortunately, I don't have a response anymore to this because I don't have Manaphy anymore. I could just go into Cinderace. Uh, realistically, I probably could have gone Thunderous, but like... Uh, losing my man if he sucks right here. Anyway... Like, I could put this in range of... Yeah, if I lose Cinder... No, if I lose Cinder, it's not the end of the world. Uh, okay. Okay, you've missed two power balls. I'm pretty sure that was a two KO. I'm pretty positive that was a two KO. Yeah, it was a two KO. So. Yeah, that was really, really bad. Fine. Shadow Ball here. As he goes Tusk. And this doesn't really matter because I'm pretty positive this is Scrappy. I'm going to go to my own Great Tusk here. On the knock. Ice Spinner. I don't want to lower my own defenses and he goes hard zap though, so that's a dead zap. Beautiful. So now headlong rush is free, but he just goes in the Ascarada. I have Petron though. Moth comes back out. I'll go Petron. Energy balls. Fine with that. Shadow Ball here. Thank you for the well for the boost. Uh, goes in the mana fee. Am I in really any danger with mana fee? No, I can recover because I have the sp I have the the defense boost. And what does Moth do? What does this do? Like he can't kill Petra right now. Exactly. <laughs> Ah, uh, very nice. Yeah, I gotta learn from that for the next time though, cause I forgot. Cause well big body blocked um the fire move, so I could have went moth on the. I still could have got the damage off with Cinderace and still went. I could have went Petron afterwards. Yeah, that's my own fault. 
yeah, I would have been in that position if I didn't lose Manaphy so early in the game. But we bounce back. Very, very nice. But man, these have been two banger games, especially from a low ladder perspective. Like, I, I was, I'm hoping to, like, do, at least get something going with Thunderous. That's, like, the main one I want to get going. Like, I was getting so much momentum in the first two games because none of the, the first game, like, there was no ground type. So, well, getting Volt Switches off was super free. And then the second game was just, like, man, I just really wish I hit those Pyro Balls. But, um, yeah, in any case, I'm going to pause and then be right back. All right, and we are back, and we have some very interesting offense, and there's a Chen Pao I'm staring down. Um, hmm, two ground types. I'm assuming the Hydrapple is the AV regenerator of choice on this team. I don't know what Hapaldon does either. Um, Chen Pao can be a big problem. I can't freely, like, actually, yes, I can. I probably could do it. I can lead up with Thunderous and click Grass Knot if he leads off with Hippo. I don't think it kills though. Tablet of Ruin. Oh, Grass Knot hella kills. If he's not Spadef or anything, I'm gonna go for it. Hey, let's go Thunderous! <laughs> no one expects Grass Knot, man, I'm telling you. No one preps for Grass Knot Thunderous. Alright, that's one ground type down though. <laughs> There's still a more annoying <laughs> Iron Shreds to deal with. Uh, Deoxys Speed comes out. We go into Manaphy. It's a pivot on the Psychic. Is that a Life Orb? No, it's not it's a Life Orb at all. Um, let's go for Knock as he goes Hydrapple here, I imagine. Go Shreds. Uh, okay, so this is the AV user. So is this Water Absorb? The only reason I expect him to go into this over Hydrapple is this is Water Absorb. Then what's the th then what's the Hydrapple? He's also just making himself weaker and weaker than my own Thunders again. Yeah, but me getting that turn one play right was so clean. Um, I feel like I can go directly into Tusk here. Actually, I could just go into Petron as well. Petron also deals with Incineroar, so I gotta keep that in mind too. Um, I can take one hit from, I'm trying to see which one, which one I value keeping healthy more. Would it be Tusk or Petrant? I kind of want it to be Petrant just because it deals with this and in a, to a lesser extent, Chen Pao. So I'll, I'll make the Tusk play. He's probably just going to knock off. No, he just goes straight for Earthquake. Okay. Um, and I don't see a headlong rust switching because your Hydrapple is just going to die to Ice Spinner if it's not like Thick Fat or something. So, in comes the Hydrapple. I don't really want to risk it though. I don't see the point in risking it. Um, especially if it's like Fizz Death. If it's Fizz Death, it lives. I don't want to risk it. I don't see the point in risking it. Let's go King Gambit. Nice. Uh, I'm not going to set up immediately because they're the Incineroar I have to deal with. I will... I'll click Kowtow. As Incineroar comes out, I imagine he's just going to go for Parting Shot or something. We have Petrant. As he is going to parting shot out into Chen Pao, I imagine. I feel like it would be Chen Pao. Also, I have to remember that, um. No, it's the Oxus. Okay. Uh, well, I have Manaphy, so I'm never worried about this thing. And then if he goes back in the treads, I go into Cinderace and I click Pyro Ball. Yep. Goes treads, we go Incinerace, and we click Pyro Ball. I don't care if he goes Incineroar, doesn't really bother me one bit. Depending on its investment, it could be two a KO'd as well. 
I doubt it would be though. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, god damn. I underestimated this thing. I just need you to hit. That's the main thing, Cinderace. Thank you. Alright, so Incineroar is down. Um, that frees up my patch run more for Chen Pao, which is great. Deoxys Speed comes back out. We always go Manaphy. Like, this is a rinse and repeat process here. Like, I don't even have to knock off. I'm just going to U-turn indefinitely. Because, like, I knocked off the AV on the... Yeah, I don't care for that. I go King Gambit and I Sucker Punch. Like, I, I literally don't care for this. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm gonna do it to, Oh, should I do it to him? Oh, I'm gonna do it to him. I'm gonna do it. Go ahead and Earthquake, boy. Go ahead and EQ. Go ahead and EQ, boy. Come on. You know you want to. Or Ice Spinner, or whatever. Pricking my Thunderous. Mm, yum, yum, yum. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> Wolf Switch, I don't care. What are you going into on this Kowtow? Don't tell me you're going Chen Pao. Don't tell me you're doing that. Nah, come on. Come on. What's the Switch? I'm pretty sure if you go Chen Pao, not Kowtow when the Sucker Punch kills. I'm pretty positive. Okay, he goes Hydrapple instead. Uh, Kowtow is stronger. What does Hydrapple do, though? All I've seen is Draco. Huh, I'm probably gonna SD it again, if all things considered. Oh, Kowtow, though. Okay, so we just Dracoed. And there's Iron Head here. Like I probably didn't. I probably could have had a situation with SD twice, and then like sucker punch, sucker punch, sucker punch. But I don't see myself losing to a uh, Chen Pao though. I still could. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He, he he knew it was up. He knew. Like like I said, I probably could have found a position to SD again with King Gambit on the treads, but uh, I want to err on the side of the safety. Like, if I SD twice, if I got a second SD, I definitely won with, with um, Sucker Punch with, um, King Gambit. And the fact that he, did, he didn't, he didn't go Chen Pao meant he didn't have Sacred Sword. But I don't know how common Sacred Sword is on Chen Pao. Like, how, like, how common in general is that you need coverage on Chen Pao? Like, Ice Plus Dark is so good as it is, that you don't think that you need, um, why is this still open? That you don't, that you need, um, what's it called? That you need Sacred Sword, because like, how common are you dealing with? Cause the most common steel type, aside, well, aside from King Gambit, would be like Treads, and Treads is already like, um, it's already so weak to, it's already neutrally hit by Ice School Crash, uh, and we see a very interesting team on my opponent's part. Uh, Poltergeist, I don't know what Poltergeist does here. I think I do it again, though. It worked, it worked game one. It worked game one. Do I do it? I gotta do it to him, please. Oh my god, I wanna do it to him. Let me do it to him. Do I gotta do it to him? Come on. Come on. Please. What time? I mean, you have a moon, right? You should be a bit more cautious, but I don't know, man. Like, how, what am I, this, I mean, uh, I mean, even if it was Moon, it's not like I don't, I don't have a Switch in, but, like, this is so, this is so funny if he gives me this turn one. I so want you to fuck. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't work. I should've just full Switch. I mean, I should've just Terra Blasted. 
I should have just terrorblasted it, actually. His flying resist was this. <laughs> now he knows I have it. <laughs> good U-turn on my opponent's part, though. Very good U-turn. Um, in comes Mouse Hold. Um, why? What does Mouse Hold do? Are you, like, Scrappy Population Bomb? That seems so bad, man. I, I honestly don't even know, man. I really don't know. Is it a loss if I lose Cinderace? No, I feel like you just go back into Zapdos, if anything. Nope, he did not go back into Zapdos. Okay, we'll go Tusk. Please be like, please be Population Bomb. Okay, he's just tidy up. Okay, this is getting out of hand. Wait, with enough hits, doesn't Population Bomb actually kill him with Helmet? Uh, take the chance. One, bang. Two, bang. Get up, bang. Four, bang. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you for your sacrifice, Mouse Hold. <laughs> uh, Tusk comes out. He's just going to wrap its spin. Uh, I can't stop that. Um, I think I go Tusk. I think I would prefer keeping this. I'm also very, very worried about Poltergeist, even though I have Manaphy and King Gambit. I feel like I don't make that play. I feel like I just Ice Spinner. Just for the chip. Actually, I should've just killed him. He's gonna spin again. But if he spins again, he means he can't kill me. Alright, so Tusk is down. I go... Petrant. Um, Headlong Rush doesn't kill me, but I am making myself weaker to Moon. Oh. Okay, he wasn't scrappy. So I could have blocked Rapid Spin and I didn't go Petron because I thought he would be scrappy on this on this um on the tusk. He goes Pulti guys now though. Does he have a way of touching King Gambit though? I mean the worst case scenario would be like what? Pixelate? Pixelate Terra Blast? But, I have Manaphy. I'm never clicking knockoff, in case it's weakness policy. I scald always. Yum. And, nasty spadef drop. But, we do 2 a KO, so this is fine. I'll take this trade. Got the burn though, that would have been fantastic. Uh, I think I have to sack off. Shoot. I really thought I'd get the burn there. I have to sack off King Gambit. Like, I don't know what your fourth move is. I'm assuming it's like Pixelate Terror Blast. Oh, it had no way of touching it. Well, if only I knew that. Alas. No, I don't know what you want to do. I'm just going to make a hard aggressive play in the Thunderous. Oh, cool. Uh, hopefully Body Press doesn't kill. And Terror Blast just annihilates something. Okay, the fact that he's not going moon makes me think it's not AV.
36. Okay. We have a Cinderace with Desolate Land. Roost here. And free Powerball. Like, I assume your play would be Moon. I also really wish I got the Skull Burn on that one. On, on one of my Skull Burns when that Petron. I'm mean, Petron. On the Posey Geist. Okay. U turns, he goes back into Moon, I guess. Alright. Sword of Ruin. U turn, we go into Petron. I also could have went King Gambit. Uh, yeah, I should have went King Gambit. That's my fault. I keep forgetting I'm Earth Eater on this dang on this damn thing. Actually, no, I I need Petron for Zamazenta. But would it be DD Roost? Eh, I'll still try it anyway. DD U turn, of course. Of course it's that set. <laughs> Silly me. Why else would it be that set? Uh was No, he was plus two when I when I did that. Like of course, why wouldn't he be? I'm kowtowing in case he strings up on the sucker punch. Or better yet, I don't need to make that play. Uh, I really just want to go hard thunderous. I feel like that's a bad play. Actually, no, no, it's not a bad play. Cause if he strength saps, he can't um shell smash. And he did it anyway. Well, that's fucking annoying. I should have just stayed in. No, I can't even reliably go into. Yeah, that was a mis that was a misplay on my part. I should have just stayed in and kowtowed. Cause like even if he strength sapped or shell smashed, I got something out of the turn there. Uh okay. What was <sighs> I'm so confused right now. I I really don't understand what just happened there. Like he actually had a legitimate shot to win. But decided to strength staff was the play in front of a choice specs thunderous. I mean, I know you're I know you're slower. Like I don't know what the point of that play was. Let's see, we go Petrant. And I'm pretty sure that's game. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but the moon is DD U-turn. The Z ants at 34%. So you would have to be DD Roost knockoff U turn. And I don't think that's the case. And Zamazenta, I don't think beats. Yeah, my Thunderous is at full HP. I should be able to win this game between Petra and the Thunderous. I don't see, like, I don't want to conclude. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but it's looking like a. I don't see a situation where I can lose, realistically speaking. Yeah, he had DD, and goodbye. Like I don't, I don't know what he was expecting me to do there, but yeah, I don't think, I don't think Zama can beat. Like. Iron Defense, yes, but like, I don't see a situation where... I'll just party and shot for safety. Like, you have to Iron Defense anyway. And let's try to wrap up with Thunderous. Just the mod I put the team around, so I might as well try to put it to good use. Unless you're like, Stone Edge or something. Body press should not kill me. I 
and I don't know how you even beat Petrarunt anyway. And you're slower. Huh. Okay. That was an interesting way to end that battle. I wasn't expecting Zamasa to be slower, so I guess it was just fully fizzed death, but uh, yeah. I finally got to show off the, the stupid, the doggone specs thunderous. Um, I think for all intents and purposes, it is pretty late though. I'm just gonna end it here. I only did four battles, but at the same time, um, I felt like, um, I felt like I did enough. This was a still a fun team. I got to show off everything at least once, so that was really really cool. Um, and yeah, I definitely want to do more of these in the future, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys again for watching, watching, you enjoyed the video, free or free to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll leave it at that. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and until the next time, this is Tone, signing out for now. Peace out.